Hi, welcome. Welcome to our second press conference of the day featuring Boise State, joined by head coach Gordy Snell, players Brooke Palkova and Shay Shaw. We're going to open up questions to the student athletes only. Following that, the student athletes will be dismissed, and then questions for a head coach, Presno, will be available to the media. So if you have a question, please raise your hand so you can grab the mic. Shay, when we talked a couple days ago, you, you brought up the fact that you guys kind of had nothing to lose when, when you came in here. Is that still the feelings? Are you guys loose right now? Are you tight? What The, the day before the game, how are you guys feeling? I think everyone's a little anxious um, and excited, but... Uh, like I said before, we have nothing to lose, so we can give it all, give it our all. Brooke, uh, one of the things that uh, Coach Close was talking about, or one of the main things, is, is the team's three-point shooting. Uh, how big of a role has your three-point shooting as a team, uh, you know, played in your success? Um, I think the special thing about our team is that we can shoot the three, but we also have really good inside post presence. Um, so it's they have to choose who they're going to guard, um, and that's why we've been able to get open shots too. So Mariah has been awesome in, in the post with us, and I think that that we have amazing shooters. Our freshman Mariah Luper can stroke the ball pretty well, and so I think that it makes you spread out, and it either leaves our post open or us open. You guys come into this on a 10-game win streak. What's kind of been working so well for you, and do you feel momentum behind that? Yeah, I mean, for sure there's momentum uh, winning 10 games in a row, and I think that in our uh, conference tournament, we've been playing the best basketball that we've played. So I think that we're on a good peak right now, and uh, just playing as a team. That's the focus. Play as a team. We don't have a superstar on our team. We just all grind and do our roles, and that's been working for us. Um, when I spoke to you guys a couple days ago, you hadn't watched any film yet. Now that you've that you've seen some of UCLA, obviously Jordan's a really dynamic player. What's kind of the what's what, what's kind of your your guys' strategy for for stopping a dynamic player like that? I don't know if there's really anyone like her in the Mountain West. Yeah. Um, well, like I said previously, you know, playing as a team, so we're not expecting one person to guard her. Um, that would be unfair. Um, and it's humbling to be able to play here and play a team that has that much talent. And so we're gonna work as a team, and we're gonna. Do our best. Any other questions? Uh, in the uh, opening of a regional would be UConn. So if you ladies make it to that to that point, um, when you saw the bracket release, was there any initial reaction to seeing UConn in your uh, bracket? Um, I was actually very excited because one of my best friends actually pitched for UConn and we had talked about it before and she's all, I hope you guys are in our bracket or our region so there's that potential to play them which is phenomenal, really awesome. Who's your friend? Uh, Gabby Williams. Um, I would say one, our biggest strength is we play as a team. Um, secondly, I think that we just we know how to grind. We know how to grind through hard games, um, close games. Um, we don't give up. We're really resilient. So I think that that might come as a shock to some people. We're we're not going to give up. It doesn't matter if we're down by twenty or you know up by four. We're going to play um, the same way the whole game. I believe it was like 18 points in the first half against Tennessee a couple of years ago when you were in the NCAA tournament. Just, I remember talking to you before that game, you said you didn't really watch the tournament growing up. So now that you've been in it and you're entering it again, how is it different than the first time that you were able to participate? Yeah, no, I think two years ago, the first time, I um, didn't really know what to expect. And there was kind of a blessing where there was no fear in, um, in me in there. I was like, oh, it's just another game and you know another place we're playing. Um, but I would say I still have the same. I'm, I'm really confident in my team, and this is about representing Boise State. That's about it for me. So I'm going to do my best, like I always do, and you know, hopefully that's enough. Any other questions for student athletes? Okay.